Hello and welcome to the next deck tech video. Today we are heading back to modern with an incredibly spicy deck, Mardu Pyromancer. This deck is absolutely packed with removal and answers for the opponent's board and with Pyromancer out, you get to generate tons of extra value at no extra cost. The list we are going to be looking at today took second in the Dragon's Den charity event this year and was piloted by Brian Kroger. As always, there is some room for you to change up the deck and make it your own, but this list seems to be a great starting point for anybody looking to build this deck. Play sets of Young Pyromancer and Bedlam Reveler give you the only real threats you need to win the game. As mentioned before, Pyromancer generates tons of extra value and can be thrown out early to help you go wide and kill your opponent with your 1-1 elementals. Bedlam Reveler is ideal in this deck because most of the time you are getting a 3-4 with prowess, a few new cards to keep your engines turning, and all for only 2 mana. You will most always have enough instants and sorceries in your graveyard to make this card as cheap as possible, making it a perfect include for this deck. As you can see, the creature package is insanely small, but this is a control deck at heart, so now it's time to see why. 4 Inquisition of Kozilek and 3 Thoughtseize along with 2 Collective Brutality give us a wide array of hand destruction options. Playing either Inquisition or Thoughtseize turn 1 gives you information on your opponent and allows you to remove the most problematic card right off the bat. Collective Brutality is a bit slower, but is much more flexible for other situations when needed. With the Escalate mechanic, you can also discard some less useful cards to help bring out your Bedlam Reveler if need be. Removal is heavy in this deck, so let's see if we can make it through. 2 Dreadbore for both creature and Planeswalker removal. 2 Fatal Push to take care of opposing low curve creatures. 4 Lightning Bolts because Bolt is always good. 1 Terminate for instant speed removal. 1 Anger of the Gods for sweeping up a bad board state. 1 Shattering Spree to handle artifact decks like Affinity, and finally 2 Colagon's Commands to handle artifacts and gain extra value with its other modes. All of this removal means it is really difficult for creature matchups to get ahead because they are constantly running into more and more removal spells. Generally this strategy isn't the best because you're essentially one for one your opponent, but thanks to Young Pyromancer you are actually getting ahead with every spell you cast. The rest of the spells consist of a playset of Lingering Souls for more creature tokens, two Blood Moon to shut down Tron and other decks with a greedy land base, and one Liliana the Last Hope, which is great against small creatures and helps you cast your revelers in a pinch. As you can see, this deck is looking to control the game and slowly gain value off of everything it casts. Thankfully it does that quite well and eventually you will really get to take over the game. This deck runs a fairly unsurprising land base, 1 Arid Mesa, 4 Bloodstained Mire, and 3 Marsh Flats take care of all the fetch lands, 3 Blood Crypts and 1 Sacred Foundry handle the shock lands, 3 Black Cleave Cliffs gives you some quick dual lands when needed, and since this deck has such a low curve, they are perfect for this strategy, and finally 2 Mountains and 2 Swamps finishes up with a total of 19 lands. As always, the sideboard for any deck should be tailored to what you expect to be up against in your local tournaments and playgroup. What's nice about this deck specifically is that you already have so much removal in the main board, so the sideboard can be dedicated to more specific answers for other strategies. 3 Molten Rain are great against Tron or any deck relying on specific lands. 2 Nile Spellbomb give you some graveyard hate against Reanimator or Hollow One. 2 Wear and Tear give you both artifact and enchantment hate when needed. 1 Lilian of the Veil for outvaluing certain opponents. 2 Hazaret the Fervent for when the game goes long and you need a way to break a board stall. 1 Engineered Explosives is a great catch-all for decks like Boggles. And finally, 2 Extra Collective Brutality when you need some extra flexible interaction. All in all, this deck is dedicated to gaining incremental advantage by removing threats and building up a wide board to ping through damage a little bit at a time. What I love about this deck is the exponential growth that starts to happen when you pull ahead with a well-timed removal spell and a couple of young Pyromancers. If you're interested in picking up this deck, the list we went over today should run you about $1200 on Card Kingdom. It is fairly expensive, but for a modern deck, I don't think it's too outrageous, especially when compared to some of the other top decks right now. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's deck tech video, I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to hit that like button and subscribe to stay up to date on all of our awesome content. If you have any suggestions for decks you would like to see, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. And with that, we will see you in the next deck tech video.